Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just got off of work and I'm just going to tell you right now it was an extremely long day and I'm like drunk from working. Like I'm just, I can't even think straight. I'm just like so freaking tired from this week. So I was thinking about waiting to film this vlog, but honestly, like this is the real me. I'm not always as giddy and happy as I appear in my videos. So I want to keep the vlogs very real and so this is how we're going to be filming today. Um, guys, before I go into what I've been up to the past few weeks, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video at the end and you like the content, um, please subscribe. I'd love for you to join the Six Lip Six family. Um, yeah, so let's get on to this vlog. So some of the probably craziest news I have to tell you is... Um, <laughs> We had a train derailment in the town where I used to work. If you guys are familiar with my vlogs, you've been following me, you know I work in a health center and I used to work um, in a southern location that's about like a 45 minute drive in the town of Hindman. But now um, we opened a second office, it's five minutes from my house in the town of Bedford. So anyways guys, in the town of Hindman where I used to work at that location, they had a train derailment and it wasn't just like uh, one little train went off the tracks. It was like, I think there was like close to 30 off the track and they were carrying like explosive material and the whole town like was told to evacuate and once you left town like you were not allowed to go back. So anyways, yeah, like I woke up that morning for work and I woke up to all these text messages like, oh my gosh, isn't this crazy? Hyman's like totally evacuated. Like everyone's saying there's gonna be a huge explosion that was gonna wipe out like blocks of Hyman and it was just like crazy that something this big was happening to our little town. Even with the evacuation, we actually had a provider who had um, left Hindman and went to come back home and wasn't allowed to come back home because of the train derailment and from being evacuated, like it wasn't like a safe zone. And like a lot of people had their pets at their house, like our provider at the health center, and her dog was stuck in the house for two days without like, without able to go outside to go to the bathroom, no food. I'm assuming there's some water in the dish because it did survive, but like, Guys, I'm telling you, if something like that happened to Eve, like, I would find a way to my house. I would, like, crawl, sneak through the woods, like, whatever I had to do to get to my baby. There were no deaths from the derailment, but the train did go through two houses. And guys, you should see some of these pictures. You can see, like, what it looked like, the, like, what the house had looked like after the train hit them. One of my friends is in the rescue squad in Hindman, and she sent me some pictures that I'm going to share with you here. was closed for a total of three days but yeah okay I'm not gonna dwell on that any longer I just thought it was so crazy I wanted to share with you guys so guys as you know the summer has not been the best for me probably my least favorite summer actually that I've ever experienced so like since the miscarriage I've just been like super like depressed but it's like officially over like everything's like as it should be now and I just really wanted to move on and try and like um, make up for the rest of the summer in August. So I have been doing a few fun things here and there. So um, me, my husband, and my brother, and his wife Brittany, as you guys have seen on the channel, we all actually went to my parents' ground. It's like about a 20 minute drive away. And they have their camper set up there and they have a lot of fun stuff to do. There's like a little pond up there and they have ATVs. We actually decided to take an ATV ride and we were all pretty goofy, I was really hyper. So that's just a disclaimer, but I'm actually gonna insert a video so you can see us having a good time, what I've been up to. been kayaking it's the first time we've done that this summer as well 
And then I actually went to an amusement park locally with my niece and nephew and my sister Diana. And guys, I used to love amusement parks when I was a kid, but anymore, like, doesn't it suck getting older? I cannot, like, do, like, hardly any rides anymore. It's, like, such a bummer. So I got there and, like, we went on, what did we go on first? We went on, like, a mini, like, pitfall thing like they take you up to the top and they drop you it's just like a mini version and I handled that okay like I can like be dropped do like a roller coaster type deal but like the spinny stuff is what is what gets me like we went on the scrambler we went on the ride with like the swings that go around and the tilt -a whirl like I had such a massive headache and like I even came prepared that time like I brought like medicine that I'd taken beforehand but yeah, like, I just felt sick almost the entire trip. But like, I'm always like trying to be like the fun aunt for my niece and nephew. So of course I'm like faking that I'm having like a great time and I love spending time with them. But yeah, I was ready to go home by the end of the day, unfortunately. And I hate that to be that way. Like, ugh. And then a few days later, as you guys saw in my consignment video, if you watched that, um, me and my sister and my niece Ariel, we did go up to Pittsburgh and did some consignment shopping and that was really fun. I actually drove to Pittsburgh and like, here's a secret about me. I like get terrified of driving in like cities and like places I haven't been before and like all this traffic, but like my sister was awesome, was an awesome like traveling assistant and guide. She told me like everywhere to go and like yeah I didn't have any problems so that was good like overcoming my fear of driving in crazy cities so with everything that I've been doing guys like I feel like I haven't been having enough time to work on the channel but like I didn't cut back on the channel I've still been like uploading about two to three videos a week it seems like lately I mostly do it like every three days basically and like I wasn't, I was spending so much time doing stuff and trying to make the best of my summer that like I was really falling behind on the channel but I wouldn't let myself like cut videos out for you guys so I was like working like double time trying to get everything done and honestly I hate, I hate to say this because I love YouTube, you guys know I wouldn't have started a channel if I didn't like it but lately it has just felt like a chore just probably the past two weeks but this past weekend like I was working on it like crazy to catch up I filmed like a few videos this past weekend and I edited some videos for you guys and like what had happened then was I didn't get like any housework done I didn't spend any time with my husband and like I don't I love YouTube but I just can't let it like cut into my personal life and like my housework like I have to have priorities like I can't like have a family with like a dirty house like I've got to make that a priority like I don't know me and my husband me and Jeff and I like kind of argued about it and just I just need to figure out like what I want to do with the channel basically um I do have some ideas that I'm getting excited about for the channel like I just want to revamp some things take out some clutter of videos I don't need to put on that don't do very well like come up with like a set schedule so you guys know when to expect videos it's just so hard because like I'm one of those people that like when I decide I want to do something like I want to go like 110% there's just not enough time in a day to get everything done that I want to do and I just feel like I'm like not meeting any of my goals in my life like there's just too much going on there's too much stress like you know if I'm doing really well on my YouTube channel and I'm doing really well at work like then all of a sudden like Jeff and I aren't doing very well and we're arguing and like I haven't vacuumed and dusted in like a few weeks like and honestly Jeff and I have just been like a little off like since the whole miscarriage and we do have a vacation coming up as you guys know and I'm really like hoping like everything in my life is just gonna reset and it's all gonna be good and I'm just gonna relax we're gonna have a good time together but like besides that like you guys know like um over this summer I've like gotten at like one of my heaviest weights and it's just like I've just been so down on myself about how I look like the weight gain I just feel like I'm also like with a miscarriage and stuff and saving up for a house like we haven't done as much as we usually do so I haven't been outside so I just feel like super pale super overweight like I broke out whenever I was first pregnant and like the acne is just like taking forever to clear up it's finally starting to get better but I've just been like having such like issues with like my self image lately. I don't know, like maybe I shouldn't be as hard on myself, but like it sucks like not having any self control over what you eat. And I think the reason I've been 
eating more than I should. It's just because like I was depressed because of stuff that happened this summer. Also, I don't think I've been to church in like two months. Like, and I know like my parents like really want me back in church. And I just feel like, am I like disappointing everyone? I don't know. I just feel like everything I'm supposed to be doing, like I'm not doing. Like even the time I've invested into this YouTube channel and like trying to keep up with that like and stay 100% with that, like you can't even tell with my subscriber count. Like I feel like when someone subscribes, then there's someone that unsubscribes and I'm like so over networking. Like you guys that are fellow YouTubers, like, like the whole sub for sub, like subs if you subscribe, I'll subscribe is like useless because you're subscribing to a channel that is like about something you have like absolutely no interest in like if someone's like does video games for example like the shooter games like I have no interest in that and I'm only subbing so that they sub to my channel and they're not watching any of my videos and I have this fake inflated subscriber count for people that aren't even real subscribers that watch my content like I'm just like completely over that because in a few weeks and they unsubscribe and I just really want to have like a true following of subscribers I've been having issues like reaching that goal I don't know Guys, can you tell I'm off my anti-anxiety meds? Like, <laughs> I just, oh, I seriously so miss being on them. Like, that's awful that, like, life is better when I'm on a freaking drug, but it's true. And I can't be on that, obviously, because I will be trying to get pregnant again in the next month or two, but, man, life is so hard sometimes, guys. So, basically, in conclusion, yeah, I've been stressed out. There's been a ton of crap going on. I've been hard on myself, like, and I just, like, the miscarriage is finally over, we're coming up on a vacation in a few days, and like, I am just ready to not have anything to do, to not be thinking about anything, like, all I want to do is read on a beach, tan on a beach, go in the ocean, and like, have a nice dinner with my husband at the end of the day, like, that every day would be fine for me, like, I don't need to do a ton of stuff on vacation, like, literally, I just want to go on this vacation to relax. So, speaking of relaxing, one of the things I do to relax is journal and I got a new journal for the beach. Here's my journal right now that is almost finished and this is my new journal that I absolutely love. Okay guys so we're gonna close out with something very fun and a casual topic here. Basically music that I'm loving lately and my music style is mostly like pop, rock, I don't know. I really like good lyrics too. I don't have to have like an amazing beat. Um, some indie as well. So I'm getting back into Blink-182. I haven't listened to them in a very long time, but their album from this past year is really good. I'm listening to some of my favorite songs from this album is Bored to Death, She's Out of Her Mind, and Left Alone. And guys, that new song by Pink, What About Us, is like so emotionally, like it just tugs at me like it just it's so good like I I love songs that artists write themselves I don't know like there's so much more meaning into a song that you've written and like your experiences and what you're going through with life um and another example of that is the song praying by Kesha okay guys so yeah um my this month has been like fun with everything I've been doing, but I've also been under like a lot of stress. I've just been feeling like some anxiety, but I'm really hoping this fall that like things are going to fall into place, like things are going to calm down, like this vacation is going to be like the start of just like a better season for me. And anyways, like I'm sorry if this type of video you do not like, if it's just like I'm too like blah and depressed, but you know what? I'm not going to fake it for you guys. Like if you don't like this content, then don't watch my videos. So anyways, I hope <laughs> that sounded really mean. Okay guys, so basically I hope you have a good next few weeks. I'll be vlogging maybe in about like a week and a half. And I'll let you guys know how my beach vacation went. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching my vlog. Um, any comments you want to leave, feel free to leave them and I'll respond to them. I love hearing back from you guys. So all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.